Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open Video Series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, Head of Company Services based out of Vancouver. Joining me today is Kale Moody, the CEO and Director of Neptune Dash. Kale, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So uh, why don't you tell me about Neptune Dash? Give me the elevator pitch. What are you guys doing? All right, the elevator pitch. So Neptune Dash is a cryptocurrency exposure vehicle. So that is an entity trading on the TSX Venture Exchange in which you can buy stock in this company and have indirect exposure to our balance sheet, which contains a large sum of cryptocurrency. That cryptocurrency earns revenues. We invest it uh, a in masternodes, um, delegated proof of stake, and therefore we're always earning a revenue on that cryptocurrency, which in turn builds more cryptocurrency. So it's almost like a reinvested dividend. The beauty of this is that because it's a publicly traded stock, you can park it in your TFSA and your RSP and not pay taxes on those revenues. Well, that's really interesting. It's very much like crypto by proxy. Exactly. So Kale, has your strategy changed since you went public? Yeah, our strategy has actually changed. When we first started, uh, we were basically just sitting in Dash cryptocurrency. And since then we've moved to have exposure to a greater diversified portfolio, such as Bitcoin. Um, we still have some Dash as well. And we have also some Atom, which is Cosmos Atom, which is a nice, a nice currency with a good return on investment around nine and a half percent. So how do you go about acquiring more crypto? Well, that's a good question. I mean, um, we do actually get revenues. So we actually get uh, some some revenues through our exposure to cryptocurrencies. Um, we get about 5% on Dash. We get about 9% return on our Atom. So our, that actually pays us out in cryptocurrencies. Currency. So we actually are always adding to our balance sheet. And then we also buy cryptocurrency. You know, we're always looking to buy the dip and get exposure um, through that way. And then also we're sort of diversifying our portfolio as I stated earlier. Um, so we're we're looking to optimize our portfolio. So we're, we're adjusting and allocating between different currencies when we see the time is right. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Um, you wanted to talk a little bit about Fidelity's involvement with Neptune Dash. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a bit of an old story, but yeah, Fidelity initially came in and did take 15% uh, position in the company. Uh, we we expect they're still holding uh, some stock. They're not a reporting uh, reporting anymore, uh, insider reports, but uh, we expect they're still holding probably around 9.9% of their position. So it is interesting. We have seen some funds come in over time. Um, we've seen some funds exit, um, but, you, but the story is the same. People are looking for exposure in cryptocurrency and and uh, this is a good vehicle to do that in. Excellent. Um, you recently announced uh, equity financing through Illumina Partners. Can you expand on that? Yeah, I sure can. So, so we really like this uh, this sort of financing. It's it's a similar to an equity an equity financing line. Um, essentially, the beauty of this is that we can control the dilution. So we decide when we actually pull the trigger on taking money off the table, and uh, we can play the market a little bit in that sense. So we can actually raise capital when our share price is higher, uh, build up our treasury, and then we can use those funds to uh, procure cryptocurrency on the dips. So again, it's, it's essentially raise the money at a premium and buy the cryptocurrency at a discount. And we recently saw that in, uh, in the March lows uh, when cryptocurrency came off, just as ever, it was a sell everything environment. Uh, and we did actually back the truck up and use some capital to buy Bitcoin um, and it's, since then it's, it's come up about 50 percent so it's 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 pretty exciting and if we can continue that way we're gonna we're gonna continue to uh, do well. Well flexibility is always king right? Absolutely yeah. Um, how would you sum up your investment proposition then? Yeah I mean I think our company is a great exposure vehicle so anybody who doesn't want to actually take um, take possession of the cryptocurrency themselves and deal with security they want a tax that tax sheltered exposure to cryptocurrency. They can essentially buy our stock. They're, they're indirectly exposed to our balance sheet. Our balance sheet has a diversified portfolio of cryptocurrency, which we actually never get rid of. So we never use that to run the operations of the entity. We're always building on that. And so if you want that exposure uh, in a public market environment, again, with that tax sheltering potential, uh, it's an excellent stock to buy. Well, that's a great story. 
Kale, thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope we can actually see each other face to face sooner than later. Yeah, but, once all uh, the dust settles on the COVID, well, let's do that. Absolutely. Thanks for joining Thank me. Thank you.